All right, Coach Butch Jones, looking at your two deep, you've got uh, nine guys that are local high school products. And if you count uh, Drew Fry, Clinton Massey, and uh, Rob Trigg out of uh, Dayton, Chaminade, Julian, extended out that way, that's 11. Uh, quite a few guys, and everyone knows that this area is full of talent. Well, great talent. And uh, also part of this area is great high school coaching. And uh, they're coached exceptionally well. The expectations, you know, it's it's not uncommon that you find a high school game. There's nine, ten, eleven thousand people watching a high school football game in this area. So obviously, we have a great amount of respect for the local players, the local talent, the local coaches. And I've said it from day one: is that first and foremost, we're going to take care of home, which is the greater Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area, and then venture out. And I think that's evidence. Uh, by the amount of players that we have from this area playing for us. In the Big East, you have to venture out because you're, you're a national program, but as you mentioned, you, you, you can pr pretty much feel the lineup from around here. Well, it's all about location, 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 as you hear all the time. And we're nestled into a great high school recruiting area, a very fertile area for high school recruiting. So we're very fortunate. And the challenge is as we continue to grow the program on a national scale uh, each and every year is to continue to get more and more of the local talent to stay here. And on your staff, you have Kerry Collins, who knows the area like the back of his hand. And you added uh, Doc Gamble out of Withrow this year. So uh, a lot of good minds, including your own. Uh, and and uh, you can scour the area and hopefully get some more guys here. Well, obviously, Kerry does a great job, and you know, the success that he had at Cole Rain, then obviously the addition of Doc Gamble as well. I think that shows our commitment to this area, and both are great coaches and great individuals. Uh, they often play a lot of high school games at the, in the background is Nippert Stadium, and uh, a lot of kids, by the time they've come here, have already played here a time or two, and it, it's a decent selling point. Well, it's great exposure for our football program to play in the fifth oldest college football stadium in America, Wrigley Field of College Football is what it's called, and you know, be able to expose them to that at a very young uh, part of their career stage of the game, I think, has really, really helped us. You know, although we can't be there at times because of the recruiting restrictions, just the overall experience, it's a different experience when you get to play at Nippert Stadium. It's truly very special and a great venue. Now, you, you got two years under your belt here pretty much. So you probably hit all the stags, you know, all the back roads and all the secret passageways to every high school now? Or? Yeah, it's, you know, this is home, and uh, it's home for my three kids. And uh, like I said, this is a great, great place, uh, great people. And that's the thing is people make a place and there's great people, there's great expectations. And as we know, the passion for football here is second to none. All right. Thank you.